Hello there. Welcome to today's episode, Fears to Fathoms, Home Alone. This is my first time playing this game, and I don't know much about it. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the, today's episode. Fears to Fathoms, Episode 1, Home Alone, July 12th. I didn't want to put this up on Reddit just for it to be called a piece of fiction. I don't even know where to start. Excuse of my lack of good storytelling skills. I guess I'll just start. It was the middle of the summer. My parents had left for the weekend due to a work trip, which meant I was all by myself for the weekend. Also, I feel like I do have to mention that my sleep schedule was really messed up around this time. I would sleep and get up at just about any time of the day, though I, was, though I did plan on fixing that. This feels pretty relatable, guys. I don't know about you all. Oof. Shut that thing off. I woke up around 8 after a nap that evening. It's a nice room. Nice L-shaped desk. That's what I got. Let's see. Hmm. I did have homework that night, but I was too hungry to do it right after waking up. Alright, I'll fetch me some food. No, I love to eat. Mom. Why are you being so paranoid? Mom, I'm 14. I think I'm gonna take a little nap. Probably gonna order some pizza. Yes. No need to order anything. I already made you lasagna, lasagna this morning. Check the fridge. Gosh, Mom. Dad and I are gonna be back on Monday, honey. Didn't I tell you that yesterday? Take care and sleep on time. I hope you'll get the Xbox like you promised. I mean, if you get that discount. Can I invite Mason and Josh over for the night for homework? Of course you can. Call me if you need anything. Make sure to check it's them on the door before opening it. You can check through the blinds. Take care, honey. Sure thing, Mom. Alright, yep. We read that. Let's see what's up with Mason Oliver, my friend. Yo, yo. You coming over to Jessica's tomorrow, bro? Yeah, I heard Josh is coming too. How about you? I don't know. What's wrong? Weren't you going to see her yesterday? She didn't show up. It's like, I don't even matter to her. You matter. Unless you multiply yourself by the speed of light squared, then your energy. <laughs> I guess I'm energy then. How's Kem? That, that, that joke almost went right over my head. I mean, guys, let me know, guys, if it did the same to you. Uh, how's Kim? Yeah, crap. I totally forgot. Probably gonna do tonight. Oh, well, same. My parents are out for the night. Wanna come over? We can play Mario Kart, too. I'll let you know. Okay, call Josh, too. Can't promise, dude. May have plans with Matt. Alright, alright. I'll go eat my lasagna now. Dude, my friends don't wanna come over. Let's see? Yeah. I think I'm just gonna eat my lasagna, because mom won't let me... What the heck? Yeah, we good, we good. Is my lasagna? Nice. Food's cold. My microwave. Put it in the oven? Okay, nice, nice. Close the fridge. Don't want my parents, you know, yelling at me for the friggin' electricity bill. You guys know how that is. Mm. Tastes good. I bet. What does that say? Strong chocolate. <laughs> what does it say? I like eating by the TV? Alright, well then. Go eat by the TV then. I like watching TV while I ate. Okay. 
Then we have to turn the... We throw that. Oops. What freaky show am I watching? Oh yeah. Cool. That's some good lasagna. I was already feeling very sleepy after eating food. Oh, Mason, I, let me put my dishes away real quick, buddy. Let's see what what's I, Mason. We're gonna have to call it off, man. Something just came up. But you gotta come to Jessica's tomorrow. Yeah, I'll try, bro. I will try. I'm getting sleepy, though. Sorry, Miles. Gotta see you tomorrow. Alright, bro. Alright. Don't forget Kem, though. Chill out, dude. All good. I'll probably go back to bed after Kem. Yeah, I'm a good student. I'll do my Kem work first. Make sure you guys do your homework. Oh my gosh. Don't tell me I for forgot to shut off the TV. Ugh. Frustrating. Me, personally, I really can't sleep without the noise of a TV. I don't know what that says about me. But, if the TV's not on, then I can barely sleep. I'm not listening to podcasts or music or just the noise of the TV. Then, studying and sleeping will not happen. But everybody's different, I understand that. One. Oh, it's 12.38 a.m. Got done with the homework for the day in about a few hours. Homework that was done, I was off to bed. Oakley dokley. Let's see what mom said. Don't stay up too late, you kids. I shouldn't get to hear from Miss Paula this time. Ah, oh, Miss Paula better mind her own business, you know? It's not her business how late I'm staying up. 1.16 a.m. I got up to get some water. Nothing good happens after midnight, guys. You got a cup right here. You mean to tell me that you didn't fill that up with water? Oh, man. Alright, we're safe. It's still bright out for... 1 a.m., huh? Drink my water. Alright, I should be good, right? What's this noise? <laughs> Back to bed. Make sure to close the door. Oh no. It was just hide. I have to check. I am no coward. You're at my front door. Ah, me. <laughs> what the? <laughs> no. Can't respond to my mom. Said he's been creeping through the windows. Don't answer the door. <gasps> Buddy is creeping. He's an old man, though. Did I lock the door? I, I'm not clicking on that. No way. I ain't clicking on that one.
What do I do? Do I hide? Did you guys hear that? But he broke in. Oh, oh, hex, nah. Oh, hex, nah. I am not. I'm not about that life. Oh, goodness. I don't think I want to go down there. It's Paula at the door? Better be Paula at that door. What do I do? Alright. So I've done my homework again. I've made sure that all of the doors are closed. And I brought my water upstairs. So. Now I'm going to go to bed. Wake back up. Mom's going to text me. Um. Yes. Go to bed. I'm going to wake up. Drink some water. I'm going to hear something. Knocking at the front door. I'm not entirely sure what to do. It's not me, Mom. I think I have to check. I don't think I can lock the doors. I'll have to double check if I can lock my door. under the bed I'm just gonna hide don't answer the door no matter what he does I think I don't even answer the door for Paula because he's got to be inside the house This is a spooky one. I, I don't want to answer the door. Nope, I don't want to even answer the door for Paula. No. Not gonna happen, Mom. You don't know what happened to me last time. So suspenseful. I don't know what I should be doing. This is exactly where I got to last time, except the only thing is different is, is one thing. I left my mom's door closed. Alright, nothing else is happening. I guess I have to go to the door. Don't come out of that. Bro's coming out of that room.
Same thing happened. Is that for me? Am I okay? I survived. Survived through the first episode. Man, that's terrifying. It was my neighbor. The guy was upstairs. Ooh. That would be so terrifying to go through something like that. If you enjoyed this episode, it would mean the world to me if you liked and commented. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see me play more of the Fears to Fathoms episodes. If you like content like this, please subscribe, let me know, and thank you all for watching. It sincerely means the world to me, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace.